How to judge if a person is trustworthy using the trust equation. Psychologically, we have an intuitive feeling about whether we should trust someone or not. Whether that is a person we have just met or someone we've known or worked with for a while, it turns out that this feeling is based upon some factors that can be measured. This is where the trust equation comes in. The trust equation was developed by Charles Green co-author of The Trusted Advisor, along with David Meister and Robert Golford. They explored the psychology of trust by looking at professional services and how people relate to one another. The result of this study was the trust equation. The equation is actually a measure of trustworthiness. In other words, how much trust we are willing to invest in a person. In this context, to have trust between two parties, you need someone who is trusting and another person who is trustworthy. The equation gets to the heart of that relationship. Their conclusion was that trust or trustworthiness equals credibility plus reliability plus intimacy divided by self-orientation. For clarity, it's worth exploring the terms used in the equation. Here are some questions you can ask to think about how someone might score against each of these terms. Credibility. Credibility relates to the words we speak and whether they can be trusted. When wondering if to trust the person, you can ask yourself, is the person professionally credible? Do they have a good reputation? Do they live up to their stated credentials or resume? Do the person's words fit their actions. Reliability. Where credibility was about words, reliability is about actions. Here we can ask questions such as, are they dependable? Will they do what is asked or what is promised? Does their behaviour instil trust? Do their actions fit their words? Intimacy. Intimacy is all about how a person makes us feel. This is more intuitive, a gut feeling, but relates to the ideas of safety and security. We can consider questions such as, do you feel safe in this person's company? Does this person make other people feel secure? Do you trust that person with confidential or personal information? Does the person make you feel calm, relaxed or comfortable? Self-orientation. Self-orientation refers to a person's focus. Are they thinking of others or are they more concerned with themselves? Here we can ask, is a person self-centred, putting themselves before the needs of others? Is the person more concerned with their own priorities rather than the organisation's vision or other team members? Are they self-obsessed, always framing an issue from their own perspective? Or do they look at the situation more broadly? Are they selfish, thinking about their own personal gain at the expense of others? If you want to quantify each factor, you can give a numerical value from 1 to 10 for each answer in each question. In this way, you can score an individual that you're thinking about in order to better analyse that relationship. You can do the same for a team, thinking about similar questions to rate the organisational culture and examine the levels of trust within your workplace. Finally, you can also use this as a self-reflection exercise and examine how you think you perform in each area. Remember to think of evidence, of actual experiences to back up your scores. So if you want to think about someone and work out whether you can trust them, consider what would you score their credibility, reliability and the intimacy they invoke. Add these scores together, then divide that total by how you would score their self-orientation. To get a relative idea of how this works, I recommend you score a few people that you know and have a good idea about whether you trust them or not. Then compare these scores with people you are less sure about. In this way, you'll get a feel for how the equation works. If you would like to find out more on this subject or about other leadership models and decision-making tools, then click on the link or head over to the website at www.therightquestions.co. And if you found this helpful, Please do like and subscribe.